Please put your hands together, make some noise for Lila Hari. This is the fifth meeting on this road show. It is the biggest and it is back in my political Tūranga Waiwai, the Kelston Community Centre, where we have started and finished so many battles over the last 20 years. We have packed halls in Kaitaia, in Kaikoi, in Kirikiri, in Whangarei, and now in Waitakere, and if you tell me that this isn't change on the way, then you are not seeing the future in September the 20th the way that I am. Yeah. It's from here today that we are going to stop the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement. Negotiations being conducted behind closed doors by an unaccountable national government is for nothing more than a charter for US corporations, and we're going to stop that charter on September the 20th. We are going to win on September the 20th, 2014 because the people of this city and the people in this room and the people in Kaitai and Kaikoi and Kirikiri and Whangarei are going to lead the way by electing Hone Harawira for the fourth time. I'm proud to be in a party that says it wants to put the 200,000 children who go to school in this country without an internet connection at home and without the liberation that that internet connection can give them online because they have a right to that resource. It is a human right and I'm standing up for it. I'm proud to be in the only party that is making an unqualified commitment to free tertiary education. We are going to restore we are going to restore the social contract because our kids deserve to have their creativity, to have their learning guaranteed. Forget the knowledge wave. What we need is a knowledge tsunami and internet mana is the earthquake. We are going to invest in the development of renewables and we are going to be a truly green New Zealand that shows the rest of the world how to develop and how to live. This government, this gang that is officially known as our government has been waging a war on young New Zealanders for the last six years. Even though we managed to get rid of youth rapes, they put them back in. They put our young people under 90 days dismiss at will legislation because they said you only deserve a job if you're prepared to put your work rights on the line to get one. Well, we're not scared of young people. I want to hand over power as quickly as possible to people like Roshni Sami and Chris Yong and Miriam Pirar and Gil Ho and Ray Calver, the young internet party candidates who will take this country forward. I'm not scared of young people because I trust them with their intelligence to fix climate change and to deal with inequality. And I'm not scared of honouring the Treaty of Waitangi either. And this internet mana relationship brings together and celebrates our founding document in the most powerful political way that we have seen since MJ Savage and Ratana made the first political compact to lead this nation. The Aotearoa New Zealand that internet mana is inspiring and wants to lead is an independent and sovereign nation and one that celebrates 
the sovereignty of Māori within our constitution and as part of that community deal. And at this meeting and others, I make this promise to Kim.com and to the 88 other New Zealanders who were illegally spied on by LGCSB that we are going to get to the bottom of this and a new government is going to have a Royal Commission of Inquiry and we are going to find out the truth. <laughs> Don't fill halls like this from Northland to Auckland and we're on our way to bluff and back without New Zealanders being hungry for change. I challenge the reporters in this room who know that this is the first time in a generation that you have seen these halls filled with people who are hungry for a change of government. We're going to deliver that on September the 20th. Never doubt that a small group of committed people can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has got up. <laughs>